Hey guys, um, this message I got in a over a couple days in prayer. Y yesterday I got the first part, and today I got the scriptures. So, the Lord said that He's taking and shaking everything because He's making us in His image. So it seems like everything's shaking. The Lord's seeming to be everything seeming to be taking. He's taking it from us. But not really, because he's making us in his image. I'm going to break that down on it in a second here, but I'm going to share with you the scripture. And I'm just going to kind of let you guys decide. I'm going to keep a lot of it. Out of my, I'm going to try to keep as much of my opinion on it. I'm just going to pass on what the Lord showed me. First John was the scripture. He said, go to First John 2, 2 through 2, 1 through 12. My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And then, just read the thing, read on. But it talks about, But he who keepeth his word, and, 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 and it verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And then the last one, part of it, I write, But he that hateth his brother is in, is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because of dark, that darkness hath blinded his eyes. That's kind of where we're at, guys. There's a lot of blindness in the world, in the church, but I'm going to break this down a little bit because the shaking. Because look at look at the supposed church and a lot of the supposed ministries. I say supposed because where are most of them? What happened to most of them? And what now? It's like, okay, well, we're going to reopen, blah, 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 da, da, da. We ran and hid and, you know, recounted our money or whatever. They were built upon saying, guys. They're going to try to rebuild on some trash heap again, honestly. God did it for a reason. So let's really be aware as his body of where we gather. I'm not saying don't gather. That's very important. I get a lot. I do get some. I, my, the joy of the Lord is my strength. But I do get some. I do get some from others. Seeing others, what they're doing when they're really in the body. And that's where we should be. So the shaking, he, sh he shook it. Kind of like you shake out a rug. <laughs> Seemingly taking. Man, there's some people out there right now today, guys. <laughs> that don't have a job. May not have a place to stay. Last a month, maybe. The month's almost gone. No food. A lot of people. It seems like God's taking. He's taking away the idols, the things that we've learned to trust in, guys. It used to be where you could go to any restaurant that you wanted to if you had the money, and you get 14,000 different flavors of whatever you wanted, bread to whatever. You walk in a restaurant, Danny's or even a really nice one, if the, you weren't served in 30 seconds, a, a minute, you were mad, people were you know, complaining, uh, silver is not, it's got spots on it, or it's dirty on the table, or, you know, I get that kind of stuff, but, or there's no salt there, I mean, the list could go on and on, guys, because we've been so spoiled, that's just the food side of it, guys, cars, I got a car now, I'm driving along, and all of a sudden they'll start talking, like, I don't want to talk, there's buttons on there that, man, I'm just like, I don't, but you know, that garbage for, $800 cell phones or $1,000 cell phones, latest and greatest gadgets. A bunch of stuff we didn't need. The jobs, now we need them. But the taking, because he's making us in his image. Because he's not going to have a bunch of false idols, God. Guys, the world's the opposite. All this... Man, the dictatorships at best, power trips on steroids, 
from everything from mayors to judges to governors to a mess, guys. Created a whole, trying to create a whole class of citizens. All this essential garbage. Everybody's essential. They're trying to make it seem like their life isn't essential, like their food isn't essential, like their life isn't essential, their livelihood isn't essential. Man, where do you think that's coming from? The pits of hell? The devil himself? He's trying to usher in the mark of the beast if he had not ready? A lot of people in their hearts? It's a setup, guys. Well, so many people are mad. You know, people are taken to the streets now with guns. We want to take to the street with the Bible, with your word, the word of God. He's making us into his image, guys. And our vessel's been marred and damaged goods. That says so in the Bible. You can't put new wine in an old wineskin. It needs to burst. Man, that shaking, he's just, he's, you know, I don't think he smashed him, but he literally destroyed him. Everybody wants to hear the, the blessing message. I got a Learjet, and you can get one too. If you put a hundred dollars and you get back a thousand, if you put a thousand, you get back ten thousand. It's like a, man, it's like a, God's not the mega, mega millions. God's not a big ATM, guys. Even the whole tithe thing, and I'm never going to stop giving, and I'll always give the 10% plus of the first verse too, and it's just, but it's going to be where I give it. But, and I'll give above, because I really don't think you did anything out of your heart until you give above the 10%. But that got twisted up too, guys, really bad. Why does it say, read it? It says food, that there might be food in my house. So, why did you say that? And then it says, open up the windows of heaven that you might pour out a blessing that you won't have room to contain. Well, what if the blessing is that you don't get this virus? What if the blessing is that all your grandkids have 10, ten fingers, 10 toes, can think, breathe, not an ICU? But if it's that your children don't turn out to be come to have to go down the road of drug addicts or have a home, have a decent job. I mean, there's so many things. Just having a, you know, a dog, whatever, you know, just life. It doesn't have to be. But we put all these idols. <clears throat> One of my messages, and I still haven't got to them all yet. I'll probably never get to them all, there too many, but. It's about the idols and about the storm that's coming, guys. We think that that this is it. Oh, it's going to come, and, you know, it's going to go away, and tomorrow they're going to reopen states, and churches are going to reopen, and blah, blah, blah. we're going to go back, and the economy's going to go burst a bubble again, and no. I'm not saying that God is. Jesus is the Holy Ghost, is his word. Oh, his people are going to be blessed covered under the blood of the lamb just like the doorpost when you fed him in the wilderness man from heaven when he you know the red sea all that stuff guys i got a hundred testimonies that happened just recently to us past couple months and we lost three quarters of our income at christmas man i could just tell you it's not i could just and that's not the only thing that god's done he's done so many things in this for us and because I've just been obedient but what I'm saying is his hand is going to be upon us upon his people but it's decision time it's time to choose that's where the shaking is coming guys that's why he's shaking he doesn't want us to he wants us without spot blemish or wrinkle he wants a pure clean bride washed in the water of the word it's time guys to turn all right turn back to the bible turn back to the word of god of course turn back to jesus turn back to the cross get to the cross not and through the cross put god first again in our lives i saw this post it said you want G you want you know god to make america good again great again or how do you fix it i forget exactly what it says it's on my post feet on my feeds look at it on facebook 
put Jesus back where he took him out of the schools, the churches, your heart. And just the list goes on and on. So it's time to turn, guys. I'll turn back to him. Make a 360, whatever we got to do. Stop in our tracks. And this is natural, but turn off the news. The garbage dump. Because you're paying for it. Literally. My cable bill is $146 a night and an expensive package of ink compared to some of y'all. Some of y'all might be less, some of y'all might be more, but I don't even watch most of it. I watch the news a little bit. I tried to say I was separating and I'd be, I'm a big boy and I can figure it, you know. And you start polluting your mind with this junk. I turned it off six, eight months ago. I watch it now a little bit. You know, plenty of it. You can watch the news. People talk about it. You, you can get the news. But you can be a lot more selective. Just turn it off, guys. And if, you, if they're not getting money out of it, they won't have an audience. They're going to quit spitting out all these lies. Turn it off. Guys, he's not taking it from us. He's stripping it from us. He's taking that old wine skin, chunking it. Sorry. Everybody wants to hear the blessing message. Are you going to get a new car, a new house, and blah, 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 and da, da. And you might. But you might not. Then what are you going to do? Because he's making us in his image. We're going to be that light. We're not going to be able to say, hey, I love my brother. And behind, your, behind their back, all this stuff that goes on. Now it's going to be a true, true bride. Pure, clean, holy, acceptable, pure and clean. So, but it's not over with yet, guys. That's what this storm was. I'm going to end with this. The dream I had was like 8 6 2019 or 8 8. I think it's 8 8 actually, 8 7 8 8. And when I woke up, I was like, man, do I need to put this on YouTube? Do I need to warn people? Because the Lord told me that it's going to be a storm and it was going to be from 8 11 to 9 11. And I woke up and I was like, man, at least it wasn't, at least it wasn't 9 11, you know? And I was 9 11. <clears throat> For a whole month. This is a brief part of it, but. Look at it, storm coming to America, but there's a bunch of them, but it's all based upon the idols that we've, that we've created in this country. Many of them, money being the, one of the biggest ones, but self being the biggest one. The country was in flames, guys, a hundred foot tall flames for a month. But the Lord told me it wasn't gonna be a destructive fire, it was gonna be a purging fire, a cleansing, a purification, sanctification. There's more to it than that. You just got to watch them. Watch them in entirety. But it was all about the idols. And then he told me, was all, and then I was going to, I was like, man, I put out to warn people. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And then over a period of a couple days, he's like, no. And he said, first it was going to come to me and my wife. And it did. Like days later, right around at 8 11. But he told me, he said it was going to be 2020. He told me to wait till December to put it out, which I did of last year. But it's coming, guys. Purging, purification, time to choose. It's not an awakening, not a revival, it's not a move of God. It's going to be an outpouring. But he's shaking it first. He's, he's taking down the, the walls. He's the houses that were built on sand blown away. Oh yeah, you can try to rebuild and you can rebuild it on the same sand pile with inferior products and see how good it's going to stand. It ain't. Time to just not reevaluate it, God. It's time to turn and really get between the porch and the altar and weep because this is a nation in the world. If you don't, it might crash on top of you. If you do, and you cover your doorpost, the doorpost of your heart, 
under the blood of the lamb. And I'm not talking about a doorpost on in front of your house anymore. It's none of that or a building or any of that other stuff. You're the building. God created you as a vessel to live in and dwell in. That's what he's doing. That's the making part of it. That wine skin. He's making us new wine skins. He's giving us a brand new mindset. Purifying. So let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. But anyhow, so I got to kind of end it because there's just too much. But just share some of my other videos, please, guys. It had nothing to do with it. I want a bunch of followers, but there is a there is a shaking coming on. There's we're right at the verge of it, guys. Of a mess. But not if we turn to him. But if we don't, and this is not a fear-based message, guys, because that's even scriptural too. It says the fearful and disobedient won't enter in. God doesn't want a bunch of chickens, scared chickens with their heads cut off like the world's got us doing right now. It's the opposite of what God wants. So listen to, just pick some of them, but listen to the messages in their entirety, guys. Or, you know, it's good news. It is good news. It's good news of the gospel. If we turn to him, it may not be good news if you don't. Probably not going to be. You can't expect that. That's where we're at. That's why we're where we're at today. <laughs> if the church was so powerful... And high and mighty like they portrayed themselves to be. Why did 90% of everybody capitulate and give in and cow down and bow down? Man, can't you see how easy the mark of the beast could just kind of waltz right in? And everybody's like, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take it. Well, you know what, guys? Kind of already did. This might have just been a trial run. It was an attempt, I'm sure, by the enemy to try to get it. You know, we're not done yet. Storm's coming, guys. But it's not to destroy us. It's to purge us, to get us to turn to him. Listen to him in their entirety, please, guys. And there's more to come. I've got to maybe doing something, and it kind of seemed like a distraction at first, but it's not. I realize it now. But May 1st, I'm going to be back. Some things are starting to level off and, and get done and taken care of. And it's a little long to tell you and share with you. And I will, as time permits. And, and he tells me to, too. That's part of the 100 testimony, testimony things I got going on. So this is my little dog coming in, busting in the door. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon.